Hi, my name is Nicolina Bolino. I am a senior pre-vet major here at the University of Delaware. I have a double minor in equine science as well as animal nutrition. This summer, I'm part of the Unique Strengths Program and I am doing my research under Professor Carl Schmidt. I've always found myself super drawn to any hands-on experiences or working in labs as it is one of the easiest ways for me to learn and understand what I'm doing. After hearing about the opportunity for me to do research through the school on campus this summer, I knew it was something that I was interested in. The research that I'm doing focuses on specific factors that can impact the growth of chickens post-hatch and how these specific factors can impact the expression of genes. When looking at what impacts the growth of chickens, there are five major considerations. These are the changes in nutrition, hormonal regulation, development of the immune system, environmental influences, and genetic predisposition. The biological model that I'm using in my research is the chicken. This is due to their accessibility and rapid development. One of the most important ideas that I'm studying is how stress impacts the development of organs. When stress occurs, the body will reroute its resources to deal with the stressors and help the body maintain appropriate conditions. This takes away from the development of organs. After hatching, chickens are not fully mature for about two weeks. This two week period is extremely critical for any, for any maturation that needs to occur. This period is a focal point in my research. When observing the growth of organs, they don't grow as a whole. Instead, some grow faster than others, and then there's a lull in growth while other organs catch up. In my research, I am looking into seeing what causes and leads to the sinking of specific growth. To do this, I am testing DNA samples from chickens at varying days after hatching and testing primers to see what provides the best results to move further. The DNA being used is from four samples, each at days 4, 10, 14, and 20 post-hatch. This two-week period is being studied in relation to specific primers that are related to stress responses and growth to determine what can cause specific responses that would disrupt or inhibit growth and then comparing them to situations where stress is not a factor. A large focus is being placed on the way that stress response impacts further development and the importance of the two week period where there is a critical shift in the development. I didn't record any of my work done in the lab because it's very repetitive, but I did do a lot of work using a pipetter. Along with pipetting, I did use the thermocycler. The thermocycler is the device used to heat and cool DNA or RNA segments to allow for DNA to be formed from RNA, as well as to prepare samples for further testing.